I am officially back at work as of Monday. It's nice and cool out this morning. Yeah, you can tell because the bear's sleeping on the deck. It's in the 60s, isn't it, buddy? Says, go, mama. Yeah, I'll go, bear. Um, it's still going to be like 90 today, but starting it off right it's gonna be hot this weekend so like i think today is gonna be cool and then tomorrow the high is like 93 and it's like 95 98 97 and then it goes back and the rest of the next two weeks it's gonna be in the 80s so that is fantastic you guys have to get used to me being sleepy in the mornings again this is coming along we are supposed to have a roof by this weekend which is really really exciting all the brick has been ordered all the doors are in we're getting a new roof I don't know if I told you guys that, but we're getting like an entire new roof. They delivered the shingles yesterday. You can't see them from the side of the house, but we had some pretty significant hail damage from two different hail storms and it took two different claims to get insurance to cover it. But we are getting a new roof this weekend in addition to the extra piece of this roof. So excited about that. Good morning. You guys have just about gotten used to mama being here so early. They just about gotten used to mama coming out early. You guys ready for some breakfast? Not so screamy this early in the morning. They're not not quite so wild this early. Chai Nuggies excited for breakfast. All right, let's go girls. dropping off some wood. The grass is very, very wet and I need to mow, but since I've been working, and this is my first week back at work, I haven't really felt like coming home and mowing for three hours. I have an intern this year and we have a new hire and so I've been spending a lot of time with them making sure that like the poor intern the last three days had to have been so bored because it's like she doesn't have any context for anything, but we have to sit through all these meetings. Good morning. Uh, that's a lot of slob report, Chab. I'm not been outside that long. I don't. I don't think we need all that slobber. I don't think so. Come on. I got to walk. Come on, piggy bees. Come on. Oh, and go. Y'all are gonna run now that I'm in front of you. This is why I have you walk in front of me. You knock me over. There we go. Happy pig butts. this morning you have your own food buddy you know how to growl at luke it rained tuesday i think it rained on and off like all day it's been nice i mean we hit got through july and august we've really gotten nice good rain i don't know if we're out of the drought yet i don't think we are because we're still like way behind on rain but it's definitely better They're definitely not coming out with me in the mornings. 
That's not a thing this early. They're all, they will all go back to sleep. Good little girl. Oh, come here. Oh. I'm gonna have to teach her to walk out of there instead of me carry her because she's getting heavy. Or I mean, I'm able to lift her for a year without any trouble, but she doesn't need to learn to kind of walk in and out without me having to hold her. Take some water out for them. My mom comes at lunch and fills up water for them on days that it's like super hot so that they can have water even though I can't come at lunch because I'm at work. When I get into a regular like schedule, there will be a, two or three days a week that I'll be like 10 minutes away at lunch and could come by. We shouldn't be hauling water for them out here much longer. And if we're hauling it, they shouldn't be drinking the entire bucket before lunch. Just when it's really hot, I want them to have that. The charger is working excellent holding a charge so hopefully this weekend I'll get that third net out for them because the grass is really long and they'll be really excited we got some of the solar components in that Jeremy ordered I don't know when the panels will be here but like our inverters and batteries and things it's gonna take a few months so I don't know if you guys have been paying attention but there's this new anti-inflation bill that the Senate passed, that Congress, I don't know if they voted on it yet this week, but it's gonna make more tax credit for solar. Like it used to be that you couldn't get any tax credits on the batteries, and the batteries are one of the most expensive pieces. So your most expensive parts of your system usually are the panels and the batteries. You should have so many panels and your batteries are super expensive. So I think it's like three grand right now for the 10 kilowatts of batteries that we're buying, which is extremely cheap actually for lithium batteries. These tax credits, I mean, you can get tax credits on the batteries, which you've never been able to do before. All right, hold the fort down. Bark at everyone. Okay, fluff nugget. There will be roofers here the next couple of this weekend, which I'm glad they're coming this weekend because we will be here because they'll be all over the roof and we'll be able to be here put the dog in the garage. Maybe. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get back from work. Okay guys, it's been about the weirdest week ever. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, it is actually Sunday. So I filmed that video on Thursday, had every intention of coming home and finishing the video. And then I was in a car accident. I'm fine. My car is mostly fine. Really slow rolling situation. Um, but I got T-boned and it hit me in my like driver's side wheel and door enough to like knock my car out of alignment and damage the wheel and leave a scratch on my door. So I did not make it home obviously with that. I, that happened to me on the way home. And then by the time I got home, it just didn't work and then Friday my intention was to just come home and finish it on Friday and maybe get you guys a video for Saturday and but I had to take my car to the shop because Jeremy was afraid with the angle that I got hit that it might have bit my axle or broken some other things there's not a Lexus dealership here so I take it to Toyota it was this whole big thing but it did knock it out of alignment between like having to borrow a car from my mom and dad and all of that. It was late. Then yesterday, we got a new roof. Did our entire roof in one day. It's really like a one of those new multi-toned roofs. It's really pretty like blue and black and it's really cool. I'll try to show you guys a little bit more up close. They also finished obviously like wrapping. And so like the roof is done on the garage extension, which is amazing because now I'm not having to pump water. Worry about it raining inside of our garage. And what's up, What are you doing? So all day yesterday, there was just like so much loud banging. There were like 20 guys here. Their whole roof in one day. So they normally do, they do like commercial projects but our, this was the roofer that was recommended to us by our insurance company. His name's Anthony, he's fabulous. And this was just the crew that he uses and they were great. They came back this morning and cleaned up. And so that's 
I've got to mow today. We were waiting on them to finish cleaning. They changed the ridge vents on our roof. Just did a lot of updates. Come on, Nani. So it's like Sunday morning. So all of that last week was crazy. We got our new net up. And I'm going to show you how um, desperate we needed that. And it looks like I'm going to have to work on the pig house today because they have busted pretty much the entire side out. He's waiting on his mama. Come on, Nani. So I did let her kind of have breakfast with Chai this morning just to see if we can put some weight on her. Her color is fantastic. So I know that like we're not dealing with parasites. It's just nursing and being one of the bottom goats in the herd order. So what we're trying to do is just give her more to eat. Come on. Distracted. Come on, babe. Come on. She's so sweet, but she is just like not the brightest goat ever. Are you? Chai's already out here. Pepper came down, but he's obviously standing here waiting on her. We've got a little bit of a worm issue with Poppy. So Poppy was the one that was fighting worms earlier in the season. So you can see, I don't know how well you can tell the difference. So this was what they were originally on. This is the new area that we pushed out a couple weeks ago. And then this is how much they've eaten it down. Jeremy was like, it looks mowed and it really does. And then you can kind of see the difference where we opened up yesterday for them. This is one more net. We probably just need to go ahead and order two more and get them back on five and give up on that system. And if I can get those nets out and working, then I will use them for the pigs or use them for something else. Just buy a new charger to go with them and have two systems. This is nice and long. It's fresh. They haven't been on it in six months. So we've wormed Poppy. This should balance us out with some parasites. The grass is growing. What I really want is to be able to get them out on this. You can see how long that is. I mean, it is like super, super duper long and they're on a little bit of it. But we just don't have the length in our nets really to get them. This is as far out as we can go. So this is like all the length of this net, all the length of the second net plus this third net to get them any further this direction, which is what I would like to do to get them on this really long stuff because they eat the top. They're not eating at the ground where the um, bugs are, like where the parasites are, which means everybody's overall healthier. She's my only one that's struggling. I checked everybody's color just to make sure. Hello, Nuggy. This one. Are you the cutest thing ever? Say probably, Mom. So the other thing that's happening today we are getting a new animal today and it's kind of a unique situation in which somebody has uh, a goat, a young, very young goat, probably Chai's age, maybe a little older, that they are needing to rehome. It's just a really super unique situation. That was kind of the weird end of my week. <clears throat> I um, met this person at work and met the goat and it was like, oh, you have goats. Do you think you could possibly take this one? because they had moved from a big farm in a different state here and now are just living in a neighborhood and need this goat to be in a situation where he's with other goats and he's living his best goat life. He's very well taken care of. He's a pet. He was a bottle baby and he's very, he's been raised with dogs and everything. It's just, he needs to be a goat and we're happy to have him on our farm. So he's coming after lunch today. So mom's got to get on the mower and at least get some mowing done. He's gonna go in with these guys. We're gonna watch him, make sure they're not too mean to him to start. A sweet princess. But he'll be about the same age as Chai. I think he and Pepper and Tink maybe will all be buddies. We're just gonna integrate him to the herd. So we're really excited. We are um, thankful to be able to help someone and bring this little guy onto our farm. The other thing that happened to me on Friday was my friend witnessed a shooting. Very strange. So next to kind of where I work and she was just like driving by and there's two people having an argument and one shot the other in the leg and they both ran away because they didn't want to be caught by the police. And so it's just a very funny story, but very scary at the same time. 
checking on her. So Friday was just a super weird day. So it was Thursday with the car accident. So just doing the best we can. We're living our best life here. We're gonna meet Mr. Peter Parker this afternoon. His mom is gonna bring him here. It's gonna be interesting for me to have a bottle baby. After all these years, he's not bottle fed currently, but he was raised as a bottle baby. So they are just clingier goats usually to their human. And he's not lived with goats. He has lived with alpacas, with his dog friends and his mom. And so he's basically been like, almost like a house goat. So I think his transition is probably gonna be hard at first. He's probably gonna be pretty confused and upset, but we are gonna do our best to let our girls teach him to be a goat and really enjoy living his very spoiled best life here with us where his mom can come visit him. So I'm excited for you guys to meet him. I've met him, very sweet, very friendly. She sent me a picture this morning, a video this morning of him swimming. I was like, oh my goodness, my girls will like have a heart attack that their feet were wet, much less like swim in a creek. So uh, I think he's gonna be a lot of fun. And that will give Chai someone about the same age as her if she ends up staying. Welcome to the Funny Farm uh, Goat Rescue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 